There are moves and abilities that can increase and decrease stat stages. Previously, we learned what the stats are and what they do. The stat stage is simply a change to your stats. For example, take the move Sword Stance. The in-game description for this move says it sharply raises the user's attack stat. Now, this description should at least tell you that your attack is being raised. That means your physical attacks will do more damage. But we're concerned with numbers here. Exactly how much does this raise your attack stat? The keyword here is sharply. The in-game descriptions have words that denote how many stat stages you'll be gaining or decreasing. In this case, sharply denotes two stat stages. Allow me to explain stat stages mathematically. Imagine your initial stat as the fraction 2 over 2, or just 1. For stat stages that increase the stat, add 1 to the numerator. Let's take our example of Sword Stance, which increases our attack stat stage by 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4, so our new attack stat is powered up by 4 over 2, or a multiplier of 2. Essentially, Sword Stance doubles our attack stat. That's pretty powerful. That means our new attack after Sword Stance is 240. Let's look at another example. Bulk Up's in-game description says it raises both its attack and defense stats. There isn't a keyword here, so it just increases both attack and defense by one stage. Going back to our fraction, we're going to add 1 to the numerator to make it 3 over 2. That's a factor of 1.5, or a 50% increase. That means after Bulk Up, our attack becomes 180, and our defense is 160. Now, stat stage increases just add 50% more attack per stage. However, the reason I'm teaching you to use the division method is so you can understand stat stage decreases. For a stat stage decrease, you add to the denominator. For example, Parting Shot lowers the opposing Pokemon's attack and special attack by one stage. Using the division method, that gives us 2 over 3, or a 0.66 multiplier. As you can see, there's a difference between how much stat stages affect the Pokemon, depending on whether it is negative or positive. Our final division example is Scary Face. It harshly lowers the opponent's speed stat. In this context, harshly means 2 stat stages. That means we add 2 to the denominator, which makes 2 over 4, or a 0.5 multiplier. Our new speed is halved. As far as keywords go, I'd like to talk about the word drastically. In general, this means that it increases or decreases stat stages three or more times. For example, take Colossal's ability Steam Engine. When Colossal is hit with a fire or water type move, it drastically increases its speed stat. In this case, drastically means six stat stages. On the other hand, there's the move Cotton Guard. It drastically increases your defense. However, Cotton Guard only increases by 3 stat stages, even though it's the same keyword. In the case of Drastically, you may have to do some research on how many stages it affects. Finally, let's talk about terminology. In the competitive scene, people refer to stat stages by the number of stages, accompanied with a plus or a minus. If your Pokemon has used Swords Dance, it increased its stat stage by 2, we refer to that as plus 2. On the other hand, if your opponent has lost one stat stage of attack from Parting Shot, we would refer to that as minus one. While negative and positive stat stage changes affect Pokemon on different multipliers, they interact on the same numerical scale. Taking this previous example, say my Incineroar was hit with Parting Shot, then I use Sword Stance, increasing my attack stat stage by two. Minus one plus two equals a net value of plus one, or a 50% multiplier. This may seem like a difficult concept to remember, but having something as simple as a chart may help to visualize how moves affect stat stages. To supplement this lesson, I have included such a chart in the description.